just got out of work today and out hustled and, um, and uh, we didn't get the job done. So credit to Kentucky and how hard they played and, and, and what they did to us. Holly, you don't often see two games as dramatically different as those your team has played. A great game against A&M. And did you see this coming at all? Well, you know, John, I thought it would be difficult for us to, for two games of this magnitude to play back to back. Uh, but I, disappointed in how we we uh, gave it obviously 19 offensive rebounds. You can't you can't win it. it you got you got to take care of the ball, and uh, you got to bring your defense. We didn't bring our defense, so you got to you got to bring your defense and you got to rebound. And we didn't do those two things, so. Uh, yeah, it was a totally different game, but we, we just didn't we didn't have it. We didn't get it done today. Holly, what did what did you say? Because Kentucky hit you guys pretty hard, pretty fast. What did you say on the first time out when it was clear that Kentucky was fired up? You, you just you just try to settle them down and recruit. That's all. That's all we're trying to do. Um, don't panic. Get, try to get good looks. Let's get stops. Let's get rebounds. Hell, you had 19 turnovers in the first half, but you're still only down four. Yeah. And then Kentucky comes out and just the, set, the start of the second half pretty much set the tone for the for the rest of that half, didn't it? Because Kentucky just yeah, came right at you again. The first play of the game, sure did. Sure did set the Can you update us on Izzy? We obviously Ariel's back and okay with her knee. What's the status of Izzy Harrison right now? I, I think Izzy is uh, it's, it's uh, week by week and uh, it's just. <laughs> what we've been dealing with. I thought Kamiko's injury was, was tough for us. Uh, I think she came back and she wasn't a factor when she came back in off her ankle. So it's just things that we've had to deal with. And uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. And we've got to, people have to step up. And we didn't step up today. Will Izzy be available for the SEC tournament, or, or do you Not know sure. yet? Uh, would you uh, be kind of to comment on audio what she's been to the program and how great oh, she's been? Oh, she's, uh, she's fantastic. I think she's a classic ag kid, uh, plays hard, um, is, is, just a, is just a great kid. I don't personally know Audie, but just watching her and uh, watching how hard she plays, uh, she, she's just an incredible athlete and an incredible basketball player. Holly, you, you talked about telling your kids not to be feel like that's what they were doing against the, against the I don't, pressure? Well, I think, you know what, Dan, I thought we played, they made us play too, well, they made us play fast. And I, uh, if you want to interpret it as panicking, but they made us play fast and we should quick shot the basketball. And when you quick shoot the basketball, it's great when it goes in, but it wasn't going in. So uh, try to try to settle it. Because I, I thought at times we got good looks, but they're not good looks if they don't go in. Would you prefer to slow a tempo? Is that what you're saying? Well, if we're shooting the way we were shooting, yes. Holly, though, normally you guys prefer a fast-paced tempo and usually make teams pay defensively when they when they overplay you. We, you know, John, we just didn't – we had six people to play, and then when Bashar got in foul trouble, we were, we were just extremely limited on what we could do in the tempo and how we wanted to play. And uh, it, it just – like I said, it is what it is. And, and, uh, we we could we can't afford to get in anybody in foul trouble. When Shar picked up her third, it just uh, it changed your whole game plan of what you wanted to do. Coach, looking at this crowd, this is, uh, the great rival, the senior day. You brought a lot of fans here. Uh, how did that affect the game then? What do you think? I, you know, we've played in hostile crowds, environments, and it was a great crowd. I, I think that uh, the people here appreciate. Um, Good basketball, and, and we had some good. We had fans come out as well, but uh, it, 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 we should not let anything. The crowd. I, I just. I think their style of play affected us more than more than the, the crowd and what they were doing. I hope that was the case anyway. Holly, did, did you feel like seeding was? Did you even think about the seeding for the NCAA tournament for this matchup? Well, I thought it was. I. I, I thought. Yeah, I, I think I think it will, it will play into effect. Yes, so and I, I also think it'll come into effect on, on how you do the SEC tournament. So, yeah, I did. With the injuries that you guys have, you don't play again until Friday. How much do you appreciate having that kind of time? So you can get healed. 
Yeah, we're, we're glad we have a week to, to prepare for the tournament. We're thankful that uh, we got to get the opportunity to play on Friday so we can heal a little bit and uh, we'll take tomorrow off. And uh, we just can't, we can't do some of the things that we would like to do because we just, we don't have the bodies to do it. We've got to be, there's a fine line between how much you work and, and then uh, um, how much you get rest. So we're going to have to be really um, aware of that and adjust how we practice. One final question, Holly. Jasmine Jones uh, just really seemed out of sorts when she came in there. Do you think she just just wasn't, she's never played against No, and, and you know, they made her play fast, and, and she did. She played too fast. Uh, I thought she, she at times got uh, rebounds and was playing hard, but it just it wasn't effective when you, you know, you turn the ball over and, and uh, not finishing your shots and those type of things. So she'll learn. We'll learn. She'll learn from Thank you. All right, thank you.